Hello, this is the short but sweet version of the Chapter 2 Science Test. We did a review this morning. It was on your YouTube video. You don't have to take the test today. You can take it tomorrow if you want. You can take it whenever you want. That's the beauty of, of doing things this way. It's a little scary, but it also frees up some things you can work at your own pace, and that's important. So let's go through this. It's always, it's always important to start off any paper, of course, with your name at the top. So please take a moment, put your name at the top for me. And let me get my colors out here. Four, we'll go with these four. And we're going to start with the directions right up top here on letter A. It says, write verb or mammal to complete the sentence. The words we're going to use are bird or mammal. And the first one says, a blank is a warm, is warm blooded and has feathers. If you think that word is bird that fits, write bird. If you think the word mammal fits, write mammal. Please make sure to use correct spelling because it's written right up there for you. Good job. Let's go with number two. A blank feeds its young with milk. A blank feeds its young with milk. If you think that word is bird, write bird in there. If you think that word is mammal, write mammal. A blank is warm-blooded and has fur or hair. If you think the word bird goes in there, write bird. If you think mammal goes in there, write mammal. And number four, a blank has two wings. I'm sorry, two legs and two wings. It has two legs and two wings. If you think a bird has two legs and two wings, Right bird. If you think a mammal has two legs and two wings, right mammal. Okay. When we go to the next section, the directions say mark the circle of the correct answer. And this one's got choices. So as always, we're going to read our choices first so that we know what we're looking at here. And then we read the question second. So our choices for number five are bat, birds, marsupials, And here's the question. Which mammal, which mammals are the only ones that can fly? If you think the only mammals that can fly are bats, color the blue, birds, color the pink, marsupials, color the pink, or I'm sorry, green. For monkeys, fill in the orange circle. Which mammals are the only ones that can fly? Brings us to number six. Our choices are bat, gnawing mammals, marine mammals, or marsupials. And the question says, which mammals have pouches? If you think bats have pouches, circle the blue one. If you think gnawing mammals have pouches, fill in the pink one. 
if you think marine mammals have pouches, the limnus one, or if you think marsupials have pouches, the limnus one. Almost done. I told you this was a short test this time. Number seven choices are climbing mammals, gnawing mammals, hoofed mammals, or marine mammals. And the question says, which mammals have large front feet? Which mammals have large front feet? If you think climbing mammals have large front feet, fill in the first circle. If you think gnawing mammals have large front feet, fill in the second circle. If you think hoofed mammals have large front feet, circle in, fill in the third circle. Or if you think the answer is marine mammals, in the fourth circle. Good job, good job. If you need to go back through this and pick up ones that you missed, feel free. Good job today. Don't forget to write your name on the test. I hope you did well. I'm sure you did because I know you studied well. All right, the next thing that we'll do is we're going to do a Zoom video tomorrow for our Bible lesson. And then I've got a few more reading videos, the white group and red group I have, or I'm sorry, white group and blue group. Look for your reading videos coming up for the next days. And Friday, no school, don't forget. So we won't have our science experiment Friday, unfortunately. But I'll tell you that the chicks are doing just fine. They look just the same as last time, tucked warm and cozy in their eggs. I love you all and wish you a great day. Take care.